Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is a LEGO 20th Anniversary set review from the 2019 20th Anniversary Wave. This is set number 75259, the Snow Speeder recreation with 309 parts selling for $39.99. It comes with Dak, Luke, a Hoth Trooper, as well as the collectible figure of 20-year-old Lando. I'm going to be going through this set, showing off the comparisons to other older snow speeders, including our custom builds and uh, the box art as well, because I think that is actually worth taking a closer look at. But first, let's check out the minifig. So surprise, surprise, Luke is up first. Uh, this isn't the first time we've gotten this version of him. He actually just came out in what is considered, I guess, the Star Wars Junior sets earlier this year. So, this is uh, not a unique version of Luke, though I think he looks pretty darn clean. Basically, what's changed from the last iteration of Luke in a uh, in an orange flight suit like this is the fact that it's just less wrinkly. They cleaned up the design a little bit, uh, though it is still very, very detailed. I still do like these pilot prints quite a lot, and the uh, print for his helmet is looking pretty good. They have gone back on the updated helmet mold that I guess is just going to remain uh, exclusive to the last X-Wing set. Next up here is Dak. Now, he technically is a new minifigure because uh, this, this updated print for the body uh, that came out recently hasn't appeared on Dak's helmet or face. So now, uh, this is this is Dak. This is exclusive Dak to the set. Though the only thing really exclusive about him is the combination of pieces, because you can see this uh, facial expression with the visor print. It, it looks pretty good, but it's not the first time that we've had other pilots with exact with this exact same print. So uh, yeah, this helmet, Dak's helmet, also appeared the same way last time. And the last time he appeared, just not in this combination of pieces. So. Anyways, he's looking pretty good. And essentially the same thing can be said about this Hoth Trooper. Uh, let me show you his face. Nothing about his expressions or the prints on his body or the pieces on his body are exclusive, but the total combination of parts here that make up this Hoth uh, Trooper is an exclusive figure. I do like the throwback though. That is an old, I think, camera piece, but it was used as a larger weapon. I know when I was a kid, I used to always think of them as like a big bazooka launcher or something like that but anyways it's kind of funny that they're bringing back some of the older pieces that make up the weapons but really this is my favorite figure from this updated wave and that is the old school 20 year old Lando now this guy is really really hard to get the original version of him because a 20 year old cape the the ability to get or the probability of getting a 20 year old cape in really good condition is super super rare so uh, and not to mention this cape, look at it. It's yellow on the inside, blue on the outside. Just recently, LEGO has been playing around with doing the double colors, uh, maybe in the last couple of years. But basically, they did it with Lando, and I think they figured it was kind of a production line thing that was just a little bit too taxing, and they just were like, no, you know what, it's not worth the resources to do this on figures anymore. So they basically stopped for quite a long time. Every now and then, they did make an exception. Uh, with Lando, I think, maybe a few years ago. Um, but yeah, so that's great. This is kind of a really, really fun throwback. Uh, and let me take the cape off for a second. Here he is with that 20 year anniversary printing. So now you can definitely tell that he is not the old school Lando, but just the updated one that's meant to look old school. Also very quickly, I just wanted to point out that print that shows Lando Calrissian and the 20 year anniversary. Uh, little print at the bottom, so that's nice. Um, I'll show you guys how we have decided to display our collectible figs at the end of this video. We didn't connect them uh, on these little stands like it suggests. We changed it up just a little bit, so let me know what you guys think about that, but let's move on to the set. All right, so taking a look at the details of this snow speeder, I gotta say it's uh, looking pretty good. You know, it looks like a pretty standard uh, snow speeder that I think we've seen for a long time. And that's because this isn't the snow speeder from the set. This is the 2014 one. This, this is the snow speeder from, <laughs> from this set. So yeah, uh, Lego hasn't been updating these speeders for uh, I think a very, very long time. You, you can tell the difference from the 14 one. The highlights are ever so slightly different. Uh, what's interesting is they replaced this with a sticker instead of just keeping the uh, the detailing to dark 
uh, the dark gray and the white. They kind of just have it both white with just a sort of a dark gray sticker there, which I don't even know if you could really consider that much of an improvement. A little bit of detailing. They changed it up with a slope piece with some orange there. This is a uh, slightly higher tile with a sticker. And yeah, oh yeah, okay. Well, the main thing probably that's different is the, the, the top opens up. Ooh, the hinge is in the back with the new one. So let me just show you guys how to get the minifigs in. You gotta get Luke in the front. He is the pilot after all. You can lean him back. His feet fit into one of those little uh, friends sort of feet foot holders. And then Dak does basically the same thing. It's kind of nice. You don't really even have to get him too much into a sitting position that much. And Dak can kind of lean forward. Their helmets will touch ever so slightly. And also what's interesting here is that Dax controls back here. There's like a little targeting system. You can see the Hoth Mountains. So that's actually kind of a nice uh, little detail there. And it comes down along with the screen. And let's see if I can close it, yeah. So it just barely presses up against the helmets of the guys, but it keeps them locked in place. So what's interesting is there is a little bit of movement you know, like there's just a little bit of movement with the figures. I don't know if people really consider that uh, like a detractor at any point. I know that the other guys from other Snowspeeder sets, I think, fit in slightly snugger. You know, these things can rattle around ever so slightly. Like they're a little bit loose in there, but it's not really a big deal. I think it actually fits in pretty well. And of course, you do have the ability to just ratchet open uh, the top, which is also the same design feature as the previous snow speeders. Now, what's funny in the manual, you can see this is the set we got here. Uh, they compare it with the oldest version of the snow speeder. I think this is the oldest version. Yeah, it must be 1999. It has to be the oldest version of the snow speeder set. And you can see marked differences. Definitely, uh, there's some improvements to the overall design. So I think it's kind of funny that they make that comparison saying, hey, look how much better it is, even though you have seen uh, how similar uh, that this speeder is to the one from 2014 and also the one from, let me just grab it, the one from 2016, the Assault on Hoth one. The colors have changed ever so slightly, but uh, this is actually the most recent one, uh, not including the desert speeder. Um, but yeah, so the, the build has pretty much not changed for quite a long time. And even then the one before 14, was actually quite similar, but not to toot our own horn too much if you really want to see what a nice looking, accurate snow speeder looks like. Yeah, we've got a couple of nice custom ones here on the channel. This is from, it's got an excellent eye for design. We've actually updated uh, the front here uh, digitally, but just not uh, in our own personal physical models. And then there's also the gray one, which is uh, actually a bit more accurate. So anyways, this is what it looks like. Uh, they're almost the exact same size. Technically the snow speeder I think should be slightly smaller, but it's really hard to scale down uh, any further than that without giving up some massive uh, design changes or uh, yeah. So anyways, let's get into the rest of the build. This satellite dish looking laser cannon that you see in the defenses uh, of Hoth looks pretty darn good. What's interesting is this little hinge piece in the back. I'm not totally sure uh, what that is. Maybe it's just like a targeting system. Maybe maybe they like that little X piece there, um, sort of on the underside of the studs for the hinge, but ultimately it looks good. It's got posability here, which is nice. You can kind of lean it up and down. You can shoot it uh, in at, at once Lego decides to make another at, -AT play set. Um, and I like that it's just a single stud shot instead of the larger stud cannon, which is, I think, how this design was portrayed in the 2016 Assault on Hoth set. So ultimately, yes, this looks good. Uh, the detailing with these two dish pieces together is probably the most accurate way they've portrayed this particular cannon so far in LEGO, so that's nice. Now that we're looking at this set all together, I did just want to mention very quickly, uh, I kind of rushed through this just because um, we've seen so many of these snow speeders before, but you do have the tow cable function, which is uh, pretty easy. You can kind of just pull the whole thing out if you wanted to wrap this around the legs of any type of walker, and there is a stud gun in the back. Okay, I just wanted to say that very quickly, just so I did not forget it. And then also, this is the box detailing here. So 
I have pointed out several times in the other review videos, but we have kind of a nice textured feel here and then the traditional more gloss when you look at the actual uh, bricks against the backdrop. You can see with the reflection of the light how that works. So that's kind of nice. It's definitely uh, a much higher quality. Certainly feels to be a more high quality uh, print on the box and I have a feeling people are going to certainly appreciate that, especially the more hardcore collectors. So anyways, the box, it, the box looks great. And when it comes to final thoughts, uh, let's just say that I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit of a harder set to sell and that's probably why they included the, I would say this is probably the number one uh, minifig, uh, I think to get from the five collectible ones, just because that cape is such an interesting, weird uh, sort of piece that I know has been very, very elusive to collectors for many years. So I think they included Lando strategically because let's face it, we've all gotten this snow speeder for many, many years now. It's hardly really uh, an update, I would say. Um, and yeah, so the part count is not too high. The, the, the price count is pretty high. So my guess is that this is going to be one of the harder sells out of the five 20th anniversary sets to get. So you can take that with the grain of salt or, or with however you like to take it. And now let's move the exclusive figs into our collection. All right, uh, so Lando Calrissian has taken his spot next to uh, Luke, Vader, Han, and now Lando. And there's one more, one more from Slave One, I believe that is Leia. And then um, in the previous review video, I did add that Imperial Trooper, but I had forgotten that I'd already added the updated Imperial Trooper from earlier, so I'm sure that was in the comments. Uh, I haven't even posted that video yet, but I'm sure somebody commented on it. So let's add Dak. Dak's here. This is Luke that was the same one, but he's actually from the junior sets before. And then this guy, he's technically exclusive, the, uh, the Rebel Trooper. So that is three more exclusive figs uh, so far uh, from this set. You take these spare pieces out. And that is where the collection is so far with our Lego Star Wars, Lego minifigure Star Wars collection in these two cases. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching everybody. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey guys, just popping in really quick, letting you know that we do have a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the instructions, the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some very, very high quality mocks. I highly encourage you guys to go check it out if you wanna help support us here at the channel or the designers that spend their time building some really, really amazing creations. That's www.brickvault.toys. Thanks a lot for hanging out and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.